Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Friday, April 3rd, 2020. And here are some of today's trends in the news. On the market front, poof, almost everything down there in Asia, but eh, just up a little bit in Japan and in Europe down, in the States down, Bitcoin down, gold up, oil, bada boom, bam, up, up, up. So what happened? Stocks fell on Friday to end another volatile week of trading, pressured by a spike in coronavirus-related deaths in New York, while investors digested the dismal U.S. jobs report. No, the markets weren't pressured by a spike in corona-related deaths. They are affected by what politicians did to close down the global economy. Capisce? So what else do we have here? Dismal job numbers. And A is dismal, all right. We lost uh, how much? 701,000 jobs in March, marking the worst jobs report since 2009. And that's not even close, because when you look at the numbers, here we go. Leisure and hospitality, oh, that's a big one, minus 459,000. Then you go to retail trade, 46,200. That's a lot of BS. We've been reporting on this. Macy's saying, I love the term they use, furloughing, furloughing, 130,000. These numbers are going to get much, much worse. And again, as we've been saying, they're just talking now about the economic implications only two weeks ago. We started talking about this as soon as they started robbing us of our rights closing down countries, telling you to stay in and you're going to get fined, and putting businesses out of business. And now they're saying, gee, I wonder what's going to happen. So what else do they have over here? Well, both the Dow and S&P 500 remain more than 26% below their respective all-time highs set in February as jitters over the spread of COVID-19 forced a volatile trading on Wall Street. Jitters. Now, not jitters of COVID-19. Jitters about what the jerks are doing to stop the global economy. And as I said to you, the proof is in the words. What did they say over here? Well, all-time highs in February. In February, they were scaring us in January. Scaring us in February. The markets didn't start looking at the economic implications of this until just a few weeks ago. Just as these low-life, slimy politicians start wars with no exit strategies, poof, they've done it again. The COVID war, blockbuster 2020. Yeah. Made for TV action flick, brought to you by the prostitutes and pounced upon by the politicians. They have no clue what they're doing. They're stupid morons. By their deeds, you shall know them. Show me anything good they've ever done. And oil. Poof. Oil went up. And you know why? Jumped 12% post biggest week in history as traders expect big production cuts. And this, of course, is after President Trump came out and said that, well, we're going to make a deal. I talked to the Russians, I talked to the Saudis. They're going to hold back production so we could artificially raise the price. Isn't that nice? Raise the price of oil. Hey, how about socialism for the oil companies? That's all right. Capitalism for we the people. We got to pay every dime. But hey, our buddies in the oil industry, they're not doing so good, you know? We got to do what we can do. This is only going to be temporary. Supply and demand. Demand is going to keep sinking. Been on an airplane lately? How about taking a sea cruise? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? No, no, can't do it anymore. They're closing down anything. The highways are empty. But the, the slime of this, given special deals to our oil buddies, huh? Yeah, 
You know why we're in Venezuela and want to take that place down. You know why they want to bring down Iraq. You know what they did in Libya. How about Syria? It was the broccoli crop, not for the oil. You got it? We're dying for the oil industry. We've done it before and we'll do it again. Yeah, just like the people are following their leaders now. Democracy is dead in a country near you. And what else do we have? Oh, Olympics delay only worsens Japan's slump. Guess what? It's going to be a lot worse than that. Coronavirus, half of humanitarians, humanity now on lockdown as 90 countries call for confinement. 90 countries, not 90 countries, 90 pieces of political crap. You like your Merkel? How about that Gatson Macron, huh? Yeah, Sanchez, the little clown over there in Spain. Name the country. And they're all doing it. Ah, Shell Group. Whitling files for Chapter 11. Yeah, we've been writing about it in the Trends Journal. This was going down before, before the slowdown that brought about by the politicians closing down the global economy. U.S. oil and gas Whitling Petroleum has filed for bankruptcy protection, becoming the first big independent shale producer to succumb to turmoil triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. I expect and I hope that they will be cutting back approximately 10 million barrels, maybe substantially more, which if it happens, will be great for the oil and gas industry, said Trump. All right. Great for the oil and gas industry to you. You pay more. We got to give the money to the oil and gas industry right here in front of everybody's eyes. China back at work. Demand lags. No, no kidding. Yeah. As I said, all BS from the mainstream media. And that's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal. History before it happens. We told you about this long before anybody else. There's no other source that comes close to the information we're putting out. Economists fear drawn out slump as losses deepen. Drawn out slump, you hump. Oh, from the toilet paper, a record. The world is almost certainly ensnared in a devastating recession. Almost certainly, but that's really positive. Oh, you read this stuff, one stupid line after another. Anyway, economic fallout mounts. Worldwide cases top a million. Woo! How many died? Eh, about uh, 58,000. 58,000 people. This has been going on now for, what, two and a half months. Population of 7.7 .7 billion. And don't tell me, don't you care about what's going on in Italy? Italy's not the whole world. And when you read who's dying and why, you know the facts. You don't slow down, you don't cut, close down the entire world over something where less people will probably die than the flu last year. Then how about tuberculosis? How about the 9 million from dirty air? And the dirty food and the dirty water. Hey, you like those pesticides they put in your food? Oh, how about those artificial flavors? No, I like the artificial coloring. Give me them GMOs. Hey, you folks in Flint drinking that water yet? All over the world, poison water. The conditions people are living in. But hey, we got Rosie, Queen of Coronavirus to fight. Investors braced for credit crisis in emerging markets. Again, Old news. The emerging markets are going to go way down. All this cheap money, everybody was borrowing cheap, borrowing cheap, borrowing cheap. And now they're talking about pumping more and more money in. And that's why I say gold will be golder than golden has ever been in probably modern history. And I also believe they'll do anything they can to steal it from you, just like they robbed our rights right in front of our eyes. Heil Hitler, march to Mussolini, salute Stalin. Same deal, different time. U.S. car sales fall as coronavirus hits demand. Oh, yeah. 
One million car workers in Europe hit by coronavirus shutdown. Airbnb lowers internal valuations by 16%. You think people are going to be traveling? You think they're going to go into other people's houses? Oh, got to disinfect the place. Got to disinfect it. It's going to go way down. People are out of work. They're out of jobs. And there's no end in sight with this. And again, the morons that started the war, just like they marched off to Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, one war after another, the slimy little lowlives who start the war, no exit strategy. You know why? Because they're stupid sons of bitches. And to be equal, daughter of bastards. Hey, remember Hillary Clinton? That guy Assad, he got to go. I don't like that guy, Gaddafi. Yeah, let's make it equal. Now, what else do we have here? Disney to furlough employees across all of U.S. divisions. And on and on. Not only in Disney. I love the word furlough. Furlough. How about fired? Could you say fired? They're gone. They're not getting paid a lot of people. No, they're furloughed. How low can you go? And what else do they have here? Last week, Disney said it would keep its domestic parks closed indefinitely. Yeah, the people that are working in these places are barely making a living. A lot of them are living in their cars. Now what? With movie theaters around the world closed, would be blockbusters, like blah, 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 all right? They're losing money all along the lines. Then you think of all the people involved in this that aren't working. The people, the suppliers, the workers, on and on and on. Hey, you paying your electric bill? Oh, the electric bills are going way down. No movies puts AMC on the ropes with debt. Okay, big story. And you know what the fact is? Here's the fact. AMC had been struggling before the coronavirus hit U.S. businesses. The coronavirus didn't hit U.S. businesses. The politicians hit U.S. businesses. Who's your favorite politician? You like that Inslee over there? You like the... the who are you, Cuomo, little Andy Cuomo, daddy's boy. I'm going to change the name of the Tappan Zee Bridge for my daddy. Hey, got son, what makes your father better than mine? How dare they do this stuff? It shows you the arrogance of them. They're running and ruining our lives right in front of our eyes. But stay in line because, man, the police are on this one. Can't arrest you for having a drink. You're 0. 0.000 over the limit. Lock you up, feel you up. And now they can't do that anymore. So now what are they doing? Drones everywhere, locking people up, fining for going out in a country near you. Amazon adds 8,000 workers. Oh, yeah? Hey, what happened to your uh, social distancing? It's okay there. And what else do we have here? Estimated gun sales set record in March. You got it. Guns, gold, and a getaway plan. GCs, 3Gs. Hey, you're not going to see any more uh, of these politicians saying that we got to ban guns. No, that, that's off the charts. So, too. You know, uh, I want more people coming in. The border issue, you don't have to build a wall anymore. Not even an issue in a country around the world. Half of GA GE aviation workers furloughed. Furloughed, fired, you're out of work. We'll hire you maybe if we get back into work, but people aren't going to be, uh, you know, using a lot of the stuff that you make, particularly for airplanes. Walgreens sales drop off after early coronavirus surge. Walgreens, it... Shares fell 6.3% just on Thursday, all right? So what I'm saying this for is that, yeah, people are freaking out and buying all this stuff, but now it's going down. You know why it's going down? Ain't got no money, haven't worked, and don't know when I'll be back. SoftBank terminates WeWork stuff offer. SoftBank threw like $3 billion into this thing to boost it back up. WeWork is out of work. They're gone, man. I can't see this thing going up. You're sitting too close to me. You're sitting too close to me. You're not social distanced. Yeah, we work. Poof. Again, everything's going down. So we work, I don't see going back up. A perfect storm, U.S. facing hunger crisis as demand for food banks soar. No kidding. Boy, blow me away. We'd have never figured it out. 
small business aid could go to venture capital-backed companies. Isn't that great? And you know who's pushing it through? Pelosi. Yeah, those dumbo craps that all you liberals love. And, of course, the repulsivekins. So that's the deal, all right? Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi and Speaker of the House, the representatives and Republicans that asked Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin to intervene on behalf of... You got it. Venture capitalists. Venture capitalists. Gamblers that can't get enough money and want to get bigger and put everybody else out of business. Lobbyists gain in stimulus bill. Boy, I would have never guessed that. U.S. accused of killing civilians in airstrike in Somalia. Eh, Who cares? Kill as many as you want. That's not important. Iran said to plan an attack on U.S. forces in Iraq. Okay, remember what I said. History's repeating itself. Currency wars. Trade wars. Great Depression. World War II. Ah, currency wars. Trade wars. Greatest Depression. World War III. If we don't stop it, And most of the people are just marching to orders. And they'll march to orders again. And you can see this set up. Trump accused Iran of plotting sneak attack. All right? Yeah, and that guy Soleimani, he was an imminent threat. Yeah, remember that lie? Detailed in your Trends Journal. Iran, with over 47,000 cases, says U.S. sanctions are taking lives. If anything, the U.S., United States has doubled down, imposing fresh (laughs) sanctions as recently as two weeks ago, even as it offered Iran medical aid to help combat the pandemic. Aid Iran has refused. That's according to uh, Pompeo. And as ceasefires rise in Africa, so does brutality. All right, one country after another, Kenya, Egypt. In in South Africa, I think the last time I looked, like four or five people died. They were in an economic recession. People were protesting in these countries, and they just keep slamming them down, slamming them down, and now they're using more of this to take more people out. And again, losing our rights one after another. Germans snitch on neighbors, flouting virus rules in echo of the Stasi past. Why, who wrote that? Reuters. All right? People are ratting out everybody. Law-abiding Germans are zealously helping police crack down on people flouting new social distancing rules. In a country where denunciation was commonplace, Under the communists in East Germany and Hitler's Nazis, police forces across the country are getting tip-offs from anything, anything from corona parties to people driving to weekend cottages. And they're doing it all over the world, doing it in the States, too. We wrote about it in the Trends Journal. Scoldings from drones and bans on Easter eggs test the limits of Britons. You can't sell Easter eggs, no Easter chocolate. They're telling you what to do. They're spying on you everywhere. The details are all here. Pandemic tempts leaders to seize sweeping powers. Okay, that's from the toilet paper record. Ah, infection is killing more men. Data show. More infected men than women seem to be dying from the new coronavirus. In Italy, men comprised about 70% of the deaths from COVID-19. Men are also more likely to be infected by the virus, especially if they are older, with underlying health conditions. Studies show men comprised more than half of the infected patients since the first cases appeared in December, January, February, March, 58,000 people died out of 
7.7 billion. And what else do we have here? One reason may be social habits, likely to increase chances of infection and death from the virus, such as smoking and alcohol consumption. In Italy, more than 7 million smokers are men, and it goes on and on. In China, the prevalence of smoking among men is 10 times higher than among women, and those are the people that are dying. Why is New Orleans coronavirus death rate seven times New York's? Obesity, the factor. One fact after another. Some 97% of those killed by COVID-19 in Louisiana had pre-existing conditions, according to State Health Department. Diabetes was seen in 40% of the deaths, obesity in 25, chronic kidney disease in 23, and cardiac problems in 21. So they're going to die anyway because of their health conditions. Not that I'm saying that's good. I feel bad for the people. But do you close down the entire country for this? That's who is dying from it. The facts are all here. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, released for the first time this week, report that 78% of COVID-19 patients in ICUs in the United States had an underlying health condition, including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and chronic lung disease. No, not from that, from camels. Then more doctors smoke than any other cigarette. And finally, Democrat National Convention postponed until August. How about postponing it for good? Look at the freaks we got running the show. This is disgusting. The Repulsivkins and the Dumocraps in the United States and political slime in a country near you. The only way this is going to change is when we bring back liberty and justice and not sacrifice it and give our freedom up to the mad men and mad women running and ruining the world. And by the way, that part about more men dying from this, I think Me Too put that out. I find that sexist. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's Trends in the News.